Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Vicious, and it's been a while since I've been on here for a product update, but I do have a couple of new things on hand that I'm working on reviewing right now. Today I'm going to be showing you one of the two. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of some speakers for you. I have the uh, New Force S3BT. These are some nice high quality bookshelf speakers. It's a pretty big and heavy box. Um, there's not going to be a whole lot to show you as far as unboxing a set of speakers. So you can look at this video as a status update just so you know what I'm working on. And I'll tell you a little bit about it real quick and kind of build some interest. So if you run into this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, then you might want to go ahead and subscribe. That way you don't miss the actual review when it comes out in about two weeks. So let me um, tell you about it a little bit, then I'll open it up. The S3BT, they're um, bookshelf speakers, you know. They're uh, powerful enough to you can play a whole room's worth of audio with them. And unlike a lot of um, speakers that might have added a wireless as kind of an afterthought, as a gimmick. These are actually from the ground up focused. Their primary focus is on very high quality wireless audio. Um, so it's using Bluetooth, but it also does have regular analog in connections so you can hook them up like normal. It's using different codecs for the Bluetooth AAC and Aptex to increase the quality of the Bluetooth transmission. And that means you can get actually really high quality wireless audio and more detail on that in the actual review. So let me go ahead and open it up. I don't want to talk too much about what it's all about. That would be the review. All right, so they come well packaged. We have a quick start guide, an actual manual. The like egg crate type packaging here. And then the speakers, kind of like in a, um, like in a cheesecloth type thing going on here. They're very heavy. I would say that weighs about maybe 15, eh, maybe not quite 15 pounds, but it feels like it. On the top here, I see that we have a volume up and down, uh, a tr previous and uh, next track, a play pause, and a source with some LEDs that say uh, line in and Bluetooth. So this is all um, just like your wireless players for your phones and whatnot. These speakers can control your music the same way. On the back, I see the new force labeling. I see my audio input, the RCA, left and right audio inputs for an analog connection. A USB connection here, five volt, one amp. So I guess that means either these have a, you can power them by USB or that uh, maybe there's something else you can do with that. I'm not sure. Actually, I bet you this is, um, I know that's for. I'll tell you what that is for in the review. I got the on and off switch here. I got a port for the speaker to properly have the right tuning. This is to go to the other speaker, these speaker terminals here. It looks like they work with either banana clips or directly by wire. And the DC input, this is where the power is gonna go in. So there you go, give you a good look at that there. Everything I was just telling you about. The front of the speaker, I'm pretty sure it does come off so we can take a look at it real quick. And there we go, it looks like we have a dome tweeter and a nice woofer down below that. I'm pretty um, sure that these speakers are gonna be better than what I have now as far as my clips speakers. And I might actually replace them with these. Or I might put these somewhere else in the room for other reasons. That way when I'm using my phone, tablet, or laptop, I can just play the music wireless. So we got the other speaker. Obviously the speaker is the same. On the back though, you just got the connections from the other speaker. So you only have one master speaker and then you have one slave. Back to the box. All right, they give us a generous portion of speaker wire. This is gonna let you connect one speaker to the next. And they also gave us a um, 3.5 millimeter to RCA connection. This would be the most, co uh, most common connection that people would use to hook um, a tablet like this one to the speaker's analog, a f cell phone, an iPod. Anything like that would use this kind of connection. And what else is in here? The last thing on here is going to be the power connection, I'm sure. All right, and last but not least is indeed the power brick. It is, let's see here, 1,000 milliamps, 18 volts. So output in total, 18 volt, 2,000 milliamps. 
There you go. And that's using a pretty standard connection as well. So that, that's it guys, the S3BT, I have those on hand. I'm gonna hook those up today, start using them for a week or two, get a really good feel for it, run them through the paces, test it both analog and wireless. I'm actually gonna take these off site, leave my house with them, take them to work, so I can test them in a much larger environment. That'll be part of the review as well. So I hope you guys found this video interesting and useful. Now that the review is coming up and I'll see you next time.